if you're so worried about health, then maybe you should go on a diet, honestly. I don't care about going on a diet. See, fat phobia is rooted in racism. So you are a racist oh. little baby. I'm a racist because I said you should probably go on a diet. Doesn't invalidate the things that I say. She died. You ready to get supersized? She died too. Today I've got the big fruit loop. He's dead. Join me on my fat positive radio show. Which didn't last long because she died. When a fat person dies, no one ever says how. Fat people die from one thing, themselves. Fat people don't get shot, we don't get stabbed, fat people don't get in car accidents, we don't get beaten to death, we don't fall off a cliff, we don't die while hiking, our parachutes don't break, we don't get attacked by dogs, we don't get chased down by bears on a hike. Fat people die because we love syrup, we love sugar, we love dipping our greasy french fries into greasy dips. And if you're part of the body positivity movement, you probably cheered him on while he was killing himself. That's like going to the hospital to someone who's in intensive care, someone who's in a coma and saying, die, die, die. How ridiculous is that? We turn a blind eye to obesity and we say, just put on some lipstick and a nice shirt and we'll say you're beautiful. And here's the truth, beauty and health are not the same thing. Think about that. We say, oh, you're perfect just the way you are. No, you're not. You're not perfect the way you are. You're gonna die the way you are. You might die stylish, but trust me, death is on the way. And we need to change the conversation right now. People gotta be upset. You spend your whole life trying not to be a fat bitch because you think it's like the worst thing in the world. And then you see a broad like me, just a big fucking behemoth, living my best life. That shit's got to hurt. I have to be careful on what I say in this video because YouTube already gave me a strike and I'm not trying to get another one. So with that being said, fat bitches make me sick. Warning, Dave's content is not for the weak. Viewer discretion is advised. So there's been a trend going around. It's called fat liberation. It's when a whole bunch of fat people get together at McDonald's and they get together, they go on social media and they preach a message about body positivity and loving yourself, which is fine. Everybody should love themselves. But the problem comes in when a morbidly obese person is preaching the message of self-love when you can clearly see that they're not loving themselves physically. And when these people go online and start preaching the fat liberation message, other fatties sees it and take that message to heart and start applying it to their own life. And because they're taking on that message, you slowly see them starting to die, which is sad. If you are losing weight because you want to feel better, be in less pain, be healthier, all of these, these things, that's half of it. I feel like we're getting into an era where what was once right is now wrong and what was once wrong is now right because if you try to preach the message of hey sandy you need to lose some weight because you're gonna have a heart attack you're seen as the bad person people look at you as if you hate that person but the people that are urging them to love themselves and love their body and not tell them to work out and keep eating and be happy they're seen as the good person and the sad part is a lot of people don't realize that particular person should have been on the diet until it's too late and the people that was egging them on just move on with their life the only thing that will stop a morbidly obese person from dying of their obesity is if they die from something else first or if they lose the weight before the clock runs out. Neither of those two things happen and they will die of obesity, will 100% of the time. Um, Jamie Lopez was one of thousands upon thousands of obese people every year who, who perish from the condition. The clock runs out. Something like a quarter of a million Americans die from obesity-related causes every year, which makes up 10% of all obesity-related deaths globally, in spite of the fact that the U.S. only comprises 4% of the global population. Now, Lopez may have tried to lose weight at the end, but she was a part of and, and a victim of also a movement that tells obese people that they don't need to lose weight unless they want to. Like, if you want to, then go ahead, but, but you don't need to. The fat acceptance movement, body positivity, has killed countless people in this country. And now it's killed one of its more prominent advocates. I was supposed to have a first date tonight and he just unmatched me on Bumble. So I guess we're not going to get drinks anymore. But I thought I would show you guys my outfit so somebody saw it. Because I know I'll get questions. My dress is from Eloquy, but I got it from Dianco. My jacket is from ASOS and my boots are Topshop. It's a cute look. His loss.
yeah he didn't lose anything i ain't gonna lie to you guys this video was supposed to be longer but i gotta go to work i'm not jake paul i got nine to five and i'm already 20 minutes late for work but i wanted to make this video for you guys because i love you so much but before i go i'm gonna leave you guys with this story so i matched with this girl on tinder she lived in Chicago. I live in Wisconsin. For those who don't know, that's like a two hour drive. So when we matched on Tinder, I immediately got her on FaceTime because I don't want to get catfished. So we got on FaceTime and we immediately hit it off. She was funny. She was smart. She was well educated. That day, we literally talked about everything. We even went on and asked each other, what's our type? I told her my type. Slim with a little bit of booty. When I told her my type, she was like, Oh, okay you know everybody has a preference i didn't think nothing of it to be honest with you she told me her type and the conversation went on now here's where i messed up on tinder and for those who don't know tinder is a dating website but to me it's a fuck app but on tinder when i was looking at her pictures it was only selfies i did not get a full body visual of what this person actually looked like i just noticed that she had a cute face but it didn't bother me i was on facetime with her i told her my type everything was going well so after like two days of talking she agreed to drive down to Wisconsin because she'd never been there before and she thought it would be a nice experience. So she drove two hours to Wisconsin. And when she got here, she called me. She's like, hey, I'm like two minutes away. I'm about to pull into your apartment complex. I'm like, all right, cool. So I get dressed, wipe my balls, and I head to my balcony to see where she's at. So while I'm on my balcony, I'm looking down. I see a car pull in. So I call her. I'm like, hey, is that you? Where you at? She was like, yeah, I just got here. Oh, I'm about to step out my car right now. So she gets out the car. And I kid you not, this girl was at least 450 pounds. I'm not even kidding you. I'm sitting there on the balcony confused. I'm like, this is not her. Because I spoke to you on FaceTime. You did not look like this. So I'm like, hey, what color is your car? She was like red. In my head, I'm like, hmm, that's funny because a big girl just got out that red car. That can't be you. I told her, put a hand up so I can see you. And I'm looking down. And a big girl that was in the red car raised her hand. So I hung up. I blocked her. I went back to my bed, beat my dick, and went to sleep. Look, you're not about to catfish me. I don't give a fuck if you took a plane, a boat, a train to my house. You're not about to lie to me and get away with it. So Jessica, if you ever see this video, I'm sorry. I'm not into fat bitches. If you like that video, I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. So like, share, and subscribe and get me there. Thank you.